For as long as I can remember, Arkansas baseball has been the comforting and reliable end to a Razorback sports season. Once spring rolled around, I could trust that I'd be able to watch a team compete in the SEC and go on the occasional deep run into the postseason. Sure, some years, football and basketball lived up to their potential, but baseball was like fandom eyewash for those years where those other sports were having a good bleed. Good bleed. And just, just bleed. The basketball team went 2-14 and 14 in the SEC. How about an Omaha run? Chad Morris? Here's Heston Kerstad. Because they've been the golden child of the big three sports at Arkansas for over 20 years now, I feel like a lot of people might look at the current success and think, well, yeah, we've always been this good. Right? Wrong. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And when it comes to the 2016 baseball season, it had hands. That was Dave Van Horn's 14th year at Arkansas, and it was the first time he failed to make the NCAA tournament. To that point, he had won an SEC championship, hosted four regionals, been a top eight national seed twice, and been to Omaha four times. Definitely a successful tenure, and no one would disagree with that. And then, 2016 happens. A 7-23 SEC slate, and Dave's pissed. What has he done in the six completed seasons since then? How about two SEC championships, five hosted regionals, a top eight national seed four times, and three trips to the College World Series? Arkansas's best winning percentage under Dave Van Horn pre-2017 came in 2012 when they won 67.6% .6 of their games. Their worst winning percentage since then came in 2022 when they won 68.7% of their games. And that team was one of the final three playing in Omaha. We are truly in the golden age of Arkansas baseball. This hot stretch isn't just the best under Dave Van Horn. Since 2017, Arkansas has been better than any team in the entire country. As of recording this video, Arkansas has won 319 games since the start of the 2017 season. That's the most in the country with a 12-win lead over second place Oregon State. By the way, that 12-game gap is the same as the gap between 2nd place and 8th place. However, the craziest stat that tells the story of this dominance is that Arkansas has now been ranked in the coaches poll for 102 consecutive weeks. That is easily the longest streak in the country, as the second longest active streak is held by Tennessee who just hit 60 weeks. Even that is extremely impressive, but that means the gap between Arkansas and the second longest active ranking streak is 42 weeks. That's two and a half full seasons. The gap between Arkansas and the second longest active ranking streak would be the third longest streak. How about that? Yeah. Those 102 weeks haven't just been them skating by either. 86 of those polls found them in the top 10. And in 52 of those polls, so over half, the Razorbacks were in the top five. It gets even crazier though. Since the start of the 2021 season over three years ago, there have been 57 different polls. Now, if you took every one of those 57 polls, threw them in a hat and then picked one out at random, you would have a higher probability of finding Arkansas in the number one spot than of you finding them anywhere outside of the top five. Oh my god. Now, you cannot deny that those are some impressive accomplishments. But if you've already scrolled down to the comments of this video, or you saw the 60,000 pound elephant just out of frame in my room, I know what you're thinking. How about national, national championships, championship? though? <laughs> you haven't won one either. Yeah. And, yeah, they haven't won the big one. That's a fact. It's really such a shame, too. In order to win a championship in baseball, it takes a lot of skill to put yourself in that position, but then it takes a decent amount of luck, too. Baseball is such a finicky game that you just need some things to go your way. Obviously, the better you are, the more things you would need to stack against you in order to knock you out, but no one's immune. For 23 straight years, the number one ranked team in the country has failed to win the national championship. Is the fact that Arkansas hasn't won one in just these six years of elite performance telling of some underlying inability to rise to the top? No. Of course not. That's just how it goes sometimes. The worst part is that these stars have already aligned once for Arkansas. From lucky bounces to avoiding buzzsaws, 
everything went perfectly in 2018 for Arkansas, all the way down to the bottom of the ninth inning of a championship clenching game. All the dice rolls that have to go your way, the minefield of probability that something could come and wreck your season. They did it. They were there. It was in their hands. But it was all for nothing. They basically won a national championship without winning a national championship. And to be clear, I'm not saying that to mean like they should get credit for winning it. They definitely shouldn't. But what I am saying is that for them to get credit for winning one national championship, they basically have to win two. It's like if you won the lottery but then lost the ticket before you could cash it in. Now, their story is far from over, so let's not feel too sorry for them just yet. I mean, this tear that Dave Van Horn is on is not showing any signs of slowing down. To this point, the 2024 team has had a better start to the season than any of the teams before it. But there is one thought that I haven't really been able to let go of. LSU just won a national championship and is sitting at 3-12 and in SEC play. Ole Miss won the year before, and they followed that up with a 6-24 and SEC slate. Mississippi State won in 2021, and they still haven't returned to the tournament since. These national title hangovers are real. June 27th, 2018. Arkansas catches the foul ball. They do it. They win a national championship. What do the next five years look like in that scenario? Would they have had some massive drop-off like some of the more recent winners? Probably not. I mean, I assume they still would have recruited all the same players, and it's not like those guys would have been less talented because a team won a title before they got there. However, we already established how 2016 failed to kill Dave Van Horn and only made him stronger. It looks like he survived the foul ball, too. I think it's absolutely possible that an X factor in Arkansas baseball right now is this drive and hunger that Dave Van Horn and the rest of the staff must have. Something about the chase for that first title might be what's fueling this incredible run. And while we all want that championship, you gotta admit, these have been some pretty fun baseball seasons to watch. But please win a championship. Please, it's all I want. I want it so bad. Please. Well, I successfully made a video where the first half was really happy and talking about all these amazing accolades, and then the second half was just kind of a bummer. If there's anyone watching that's not a Razorback fan, you probably love the second half. <laughs> I don't know who I'm kidding. They all clicked away during the hog bluff fest in the first half. But thank you so much for watching this. Uh, this is the kind of video that I would like to make more of. Um, I've actually had the idea for this one for a little while now, but I could never really figure out how to organize my thoughts and keep it more concise. If you don't already follow me on Twitter, I'm at StuHog. I like to post a lot of stats similar to the ones that I showed in this video, including this one, tracking Hagen Smith as he approaches the school record for career strikeouts. All right, bye.